shared last time, that we have victory. Whoever is born of God overcomes the world, and this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. But I want to join that with the book of Colossians because what I'm sharing, I'm picking it from the book of Colossians because Colossians has been so rich. I know you have done it. Thank you for Dorcas and those that have taught on it here and Millicent where we are. And um, Colossians, the book of Colossians, the supremacy of Christ. I want to add a, a gurudumu pale. It's not only the supremacy of Christ, but the supremacy that becomes ours in Christ. So that it is not only him, the winner, but me as a winner too. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And did you, I don't know whether you know that there are some demarcations that are, God has put which are not, 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 not human. There are some areas, if you come from Machakos, for example, and you are leaving Machakos on your way to Kathiani, and you are going through Momboni Boys High School, or after Scott Theological College, and you are going up. There is a spot up before you get up Kabisa, where if you dropped water, instead of going down where you are coming from, it goes up where you are going. There is a demarcation and a force there that pushes the water not downwards, but upstream. That is not put by men. It is put by, okay, if you come from Naivasha like myself and you are climbing up and you are just about to get to uh, Magumu, uh, before you get to the petrol station, the ABS petrol station up there. There is another spot there. If you drop to water, instead of it rolling down, it doesn't. It goes up. Those are demarcation that God has demarcated. So the land already, there are some spiritual demarcation that are there. I also want to bring to you that um, if you climb Kilimanjaro or Mount Kenya without preparation, you will die up there. You have to do practice down here first so that your breathing system is okay. Otherwise, you go up, you might lose your breath because there is a certain level that God did not intend us to go up. So if you want to go up, you practice down here so that when you go up, it will be safe for you. I also want to bring to you and say this. There are some places that snakes cannot dwell. Snakes don't dwell there. But there are some places where snakes, cobwebs, spiders, and all those things, they harvest and they enjoy themselves. But there are some level. As you climb up Mount, Mount Kenya, there is a, a place you go and the, the guy leading you tell you, I also don't know whether you know that um, an ego, when it gets hold of a snake, it makes sure the snake dies before it enjoy it. Hamperekagi mahali kumukura sahiyo. No, 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 no. Anamshika, anampeleka ju. Kwa sababu kuna levo, nyoka akifika, anakufa, hata apigwi na mtu, roho inadunda. Sasa nyoka anaminit, igu anateremuka, anararua nyamazake, anakula. Kwa sababu, kuna levo. Tell your neighbor there is a levo. And, and it is when we are talking about faith becomes a victory and Jesus becomes supremacy for us and supreme for us, it's also because he has allowed us, he has given us the grace to sense and know certain things so that we will not move kiholela holela. Because if you do, unaweza jikuta katika shida kubwa sana. So we, whether the land or whatever, the Lord has drawn an invisible line everywhere we live that makes snakes and cobwebs and, and those uh, spiders and so on, you will not find there. There is a level higher than that of the world that the Lord has placed for us. There is a place. I want to ask our brother to help us read first, uh, to read Colossians chapter 1, verse 9 to 17. That's a place I'm going to hang around a little while. Well. For this reason, we also, since the day we had it, 
niokoe. Uh, asante. Wewe ni wewe unaweza niokoa. Unajua my grandchildren think I'm wearing this for fun. So they also want to wear it for fun. But it is not for fun. Okay, for this reason we also since the day we had it do not cease to pray for you and to ask that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. Verse number 10. That we may walk worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing him, being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. Strengthened with all might, according to his glorious power, for all patience and long-suffering with the joy. Giving thanks to the Father who has qualified us. Now I think that is a, a good word for us to underline. Who has qualified us. He has qualified us to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in the light. Verse number 13. And has delivered us from the power of darkness and conveyed us into the kingdom of the son of, the, the son of his love. In whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn from all creation. For by him all things were created that are in heaven and that are on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created through him and for him. Verse number 17. And he is before all things, and in, in him all things consist. Blessed be the name of the Lord. There is a level that is higher than the world. There is a level of life available to God's children that allows God's children to live lives that are holy, pleasing to the Lord, and free from many of the problems that causes the way of the transgressor. The way of the transgressors, Proverbs 13, verse number 15. The way of the transgressor. There are those things that the Lord gives to you and to me that we don't fall into that. God, good understanding gains favor. But the way of the unfaithful is hard or the transgressor is hard. But if you trust God, he makes it easy for you to love him and to pursue him and to follow him. Therefore, the passage that we have read speaks about that spiritual line that the Lord places us. If you like the snake line or the breathing line. A place where if you are above it, then the devil has no ground over you. If you are above it, then some of the struggles that you and I struggle while here, you will not struggle unless you want to struggle. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The passage speaks about that level where, and we are told that we can get above it. You see, you have to get above it. If you stay under it, then there will be snake bites that will bite you up. But if you are above it, then the breath, your breathing, your breathing is taken care of by the Lord. So we are going to, to look at some facts about, from the book of Colossians that help us to live above the snake line, if you like, to live above the struggles that I struggle as a believer. To live a life that I can enjoy what God is, has called me for. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Kuna kitu nilisema wakati mungine nilikuwa hapa. Eh. Sasa conspiracy hiyo tutaichezea na tutaishinda. I want to talk about number one, verse 12 to 14, that we have been elevated above, if you like, the snake line. We have been elevated above the snake line. Verse number 12 to 14, if you can go back and read it for a little while. Verse number 12 to 14. Giving thanks to the Father who has qualified us to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in the light. He has delivered us from the power of darkness 
and conveyed us into the kingdom of the Son of His love. Verse number 14, in whom we have redemption through His blood, the forgiveness of sins. When we were born into this world, we were born with, um, with some nature of sin. Wewe siju kasha usha juuliza watoto wako walijifundisha kudanganya wapi na wewe ujawafundisha. Watoto wadogo tu, kamtoto kadogo tu, kama mwaka mmoja, kana kudanganya tu na unashindwa. Wewe. We. Hiyo ulifundishwa na nani? Tunakuwa ga nayo. They know when you are angry how to please you. They will please you. They know how to get something out of you. They know it and they are very small. Hata wengine they make you pay for them. Anything they do. We are born with those nature within us. But we have been elevated above the snake line. So when we were born, we were born into sin. Romans 3.23 talks about it and emphasizes it to us. For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. All of us, you and the bishop included, we have fallen short of the glory of God. And in that, and if that is not enough, that every sinner is dead in trespasses and sin, as Ephesians 2 verse 1 tells us. And that we all, again, walked according to the course of this world, Ephesians 2 verse 2, we all have walked in the same course. And if that is not enough, we have all had our conversations in times, in times past in the last of our flesh. Oh, in other words, you cannot stand up and say, me, I'm okay, I'm, okay. I'm good. No, you're not. We are not. We were born that way unless we receive the Lord Jesus Christ as our Savior. So the image is crystal clear. The Word of God is teaching us that every person in the world lives below the snake line and he can be bitten by the snake and the devil can take advantage of us. But remember what I said. The Lord has elevated us above and therefore we should live above there where the Lord has elevated us. Blessed be the name of the Lord. They prove to us every day that if we live above, then we'll be safer. The things that happen down here will not happen to us. Numbers 21, the whole of it, proves to us every day that if we live by those things that the children of Israel lived with them in the wilderness, it will happen to us. There are some destruction that are going to happen. The lowland of sin, of spiritual poverty, weariness, exhaustion, and collapse will hit us. But we have been elevated above the snake line. The snake line. The snake line below it is a place of hopelessness and sorrow. Confusion happens there. And Paul is saying it, and I think I quoted it the other time, that Paul is saying, I wake up and I decide I will do good. I will do good. And you try it, but you fail along the way. It doesn't work the way you have planned. Something comes along the way. And maybe it's a driver driving badly in front of you and you cast them. Or you think they are going to die. I don't know whether you have always thought that you are not dying, but the driver in front of you will die. Why? Because he's going like this, like that. And, and, and so on. So you devil. And you know, he could be sober. This morning when I was coming, I think the guys behind me thought I was drunk. Because as I overtook a vehicle here, another one showed up. So I quickly moved in front. And then because I almost went outside the road, then I moved back. That was five something. And I think the guys behind me said, Hata uyu, tulikuwa nae. Hatukuwa nae mahali popote. Actually, why I say so? Because the guy in front of me, when he saw my lights that way, he stopped for me. Nisimugonge. But I don't know what he said. But I could imagine he said, there goes another drunkard. There goes another drunkard. A place of 
hopelessness, sorrow and confusion and pain are a place. It is also a place of broken hearts, shattered dreams, ruined relationship and troubled minds. That you can, you can go to a seminar and be taught how to leave your spouse. And that evening you have a problem. Oh my goodness. You know you are looking at me like, Bishop, are you real? Let me come close to you. In that church where Collins and Ruth had hosted us, one Sunday morning, a friend of mine, and if he's watching us live, I will not mention your name, but a friend of mine, came to church with a guitar. How many know that I used to play a guitar? So if you are a guitar man, you, your friends also carry guitars with them. So this friend of mine came with a guitar and his wife, and they sang a wonderful song, and they gave a wonderful testimony. That night, that night, that night, while you were China, that night, when I was told, I wondered, how can you really pretend? Pretend of the highest level. Yani mojawa alijua hii usiku hii leo. Leo hii. Hakuna. Hata tuimbe, tuubiri kanisa ya Bishop Kemani, watu wa okoka wa mpende yesu, familia ziwe corrected, ziende binguni, lakini yetu leo. And, and that's why we say, hata huyo Bishop, anampenda yesu, ajuane nae, our channel na dhambi. Kwa sababu dhambi ipo. You can preach like an angel and people can get redeemed and delivered and saved. But that does not mean you are perfect. So that night, they divorced. So when the story came, I did not tell anybody because it was not for everybody. It was for me and my wife. We lamented. Na neguwa matu ineide ma. Na neguwa matu huje ine ma. Na neguwa mare adwaga ima. I'm saying this so that you can know. Even that, but don't condemn him. Don't blame him. It is because he allowed himself to be below the snake line. He has gone where he can be bitten by the snake of sin. Because sin will catch you. Will get you. It is a place where the vicious serpents of sin inject their poisonous venom over and over. Bringing pain, poverty, destruction, and death. Just like that testimony that I gave. The lowland, the land before the level. Because the Lord has given us a level. Usiende below. Kaju. Kaju. Ukitaku wa mshindi kaju. Na ukitaku wa mshindi tembea na watu wanakaaga ju. Ukienda na watu wakochini utaona shida. Na usiringe. Hati mimi nakaga karibu durotere ini. Mimi nakaga karibu tu. Kusa mimi na... Nimechezwa na roho na mpenda yesu. Walafu, unacheza na pale. Do you know it is easier for you to be thrown down there than somebody to come up? Oh, Mimi, you're not getting the joke. One day, in the 70s, I believed anybody can get saved. Anyone. So a brother, I think it must have been 1976, took me to go and witness for his brother. I still remember the bar near Jivanji Garden. So that we can witness to this man. He was working with reinsurance. He was a big man. My brother said, Twende to come ubirie. He shetani shindwe. So when we entered, this guy never resisted. He enjoyed my preaching. He liked it. But he never got saved. But I took so many Coca-Colas and Sambosas that by the time I left that place, I said I will never ever go back to witness to a drunkard. Because did you know drunkards are very generous? I'm patia Coca-Cola in Guinea. Ah, na yo sambusa moto moto. And there, and there, eh, wa pasta, and there, and there. Oh, I see. Hey, later, later, later. <laughs> so, I told my brother, who see me? See, when you are living below there, Ezekiel, let's look at Roman, uh, Ezekiel 18, verse number 4. Ezekiel 18, verse number 4. Because all souls are mine. The soul of the Father as well as the soul of the Son is mine. The soul who sins shall surely die. Yani, haijalishi, iwe ni soul ya bishop, ama ni soul yako, ama ni soul ya yule soja, ama ni soul ya mtoto, Zote ni za mungu. Na yoyote inayotenda dhambi. 
itaangamia. Now that is how, how critical my life is to the Lord. In Psalms 9 verse 7, speaks about death again. Psalms 9 verse 7. But the Lord shall endure forever. He has prepared his throne for judgment. There is a time for judgment. You know, he lives forever. We have sung about it. But he will also judge you. Remember hell's gate? Hell, heaven's gate, hell's flame, you remember? That God is just, but he will judge us. So I pray that God can help you so that to see Jesus and Adambi. Kwasab sikumoja itatuma. Sikumoja dhambi itatuma. The condition of a lost sinner. When a person comes to Jesus Christ for salvation, that person is lifted out of the valley of sin and he's set on a high place with Jesus. So when I say yes to Jesus, he lifts me up, places me together with him. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So faith in Christ through the power of the gospel of grace delivers the child of God from the lowland of the tyranny of the devil and terror and places us to a place of his grace. The land above a place where Satan cannot strike. Verse number 12 says, God is our father. When a sinner comes to Jesus for salvation, the sinner is adopted into the family of God. So I'm no longer the son of the karate soil. I'm a son of the heavenly soil. I have changed location. I might be around here, but very soon I'm going home. I don't know why I liked listening to uh, this choir from Rwanda, the ambassador. Even yesterday I was listening to them. And they were saying, Kwetu Binguni, Hakuna Fani Audaktari. Woo! Yani, Nana sa, we rafiki yangu jobwana. Kwetu nyumbani, kunaraha. Kwetu nyumbani ni kwema. Sio kama hapa duniani. My prayer is that we'll get there. I know as we grow old, we almost think that this is it. But I want to remind myself, this is not it. This is just a place where I'm passing by. There is a better place prepared for me. Verse number 12 still. We have been made or meant or prepared to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. Yani kuna kitu kimeandaliwa kwako na kwangu. That is the preparation that you and I have received when we come to know the Lord Jesus Christ. In verse number 13, we have been delivered from the power of darkness. Sin and Satan no longer have any power over us. We have been given the ability to say no to sin. The ability to say no to sin. The ability to say no to sin. In other words, you can say no. You have the ability. You have not only been lifted up or elevated. God has given you the ability to say no. No. No to sin. Sin and Satan no longer have any power over us. We have been given ability to say no to it. Still in verse number 13, we have been translated. In other words, there is some translation that takes place. You have been translated into the kingdom of his dear son. The kingdom of his dear son. No wonder we say, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is done in heaven. I'm a new person. I'm no longer living to feed me. Actual fact, one time, a man called Paul got mad. And he said, two things that are true, and they will happen. He tumbo ni a chakula. Na chakula ni a tumbo. Na tumbo, na chakula, zitanga mizwa siku moja. Yani, we are going to a place where yu mukimoti ninapenda sana inakataza niombe. Yu kaugali na na kamaki nyama yake ina nisumbua moyo dada Catherine hiyo tutaiwacha hiyo mukimo hata uipende ya minji ya kutoka kina agofu the point is that one and your belly there is a place that they are condemned to suffer kwa hivyo paulo anasema bas kama ndio hivyo i need to be careful not to feed what is going for destruction i need to feed my soul more and more i know as i speak some of you are getting more than i'm saying 
Najua kuna watu umaliza sermon zako kabla hujamaliza asha maliza sermon. Uh, bishop anasema hivi. Si hivyo nasema tumbo. Tumbo. Hebu kuza tumbo yako. Hiyo ndiyo nasema si yangu. Verse number 14. We have redemption through his blood. The word redemption means to lose after the payment of a ransom price that has been paid. I have been set free. I was bound, but now I am free. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Verse number 14 still says, we have the forgiveness of sin. All the things we did in the lowland of sin, along with the corruption produced in us and by us, has been cleansed away and we have been pardoned. In other words, we are free. We are free. May the Lord help us to walk into our freedom. To walk in our freedom and never go back to what God has delivered us from. According to the Bible, our new life in Christ or our life above the snake line is a reality. It is true. I've been born again now for 53 years. How many people are less than 53 years? You are the majority. Nimekuwa nimempenda Yesu. Na nimtamu actually as you grow old in the sweet by and by ndizo nyimbo zile za tunaanza kupenda. Tia mugithi na mbao piga randa hazina maana. Sasa unaanza kufikiria ni kule gururi mwega ma. Yaani those kind of songs in the sweet by and by. Because Walk with God becomes sweeter. Because I can imagine the first five years how I struggled with this sin. I was a teenager. And let me tell you, teenagers, whether born again or not, we suffer the same. But you have to decide there is a line here. I'm going to follow him. I might be hated by people. My body might demand some things. But I'm going to say no. Because God has given me the grace and the power to say no to sin. Five years were terrible. Hey! Kwanza watu wakivuta sigara. Siri kwa inanukia vizuri sana. Hey! Watu wakikunywa kwanza ile taska. Wacha ingine ya muratina. Si unaona jamani kama mdosi. Anakaa kama mudosi. Vili anaitandika. You know, and you have to keep on telling yourself. Hiyo, hiyo ni urongo. I am better where I am. I will not go for it. Five years. Paka mtu anakuliza. Umeokoka nini? Na wambia siku okoka hii na hii, ni meokoka dhambi, na dhambi inebeba hiyo na hiyo, amba unasema. So I suffered. I struggled like a teenager. I struggled like a teenager. I also had to make a choice. I want to get married. How? In church. Not having slept with her. In church. It is the determination. Si mchezo, ni kusema la na la. Sa tukiona mtu anacheza tu na dhambi. Alafu anasema hallelujah. Huyo ataumwa na nyoka na kuna siku hataweza inuka. Kama umeokoka ndugu dada wachana na dhambi. Hebu hebu niwaambie wa dada kidogo. Mwanaume anayetaka kulala na wewe atalala na mke mwingine. Hiyo ni kweli. Last yake huwezi kuisatisfy. Na hata kuowa. Hata kama yuko hapa kanisani. Hata kuowa. Siku nilikuwa na kijana hapa kanisani. Ananambia ni merara na huyu yudhi. Na nikarara na huyu yudhi. Ni merara na huyu yudhi. Nika muambia utoke na ukimbie na migu. Kwa sababu hiyo si haikuwa ukweli. Alitaka kulara na mwingine huyu wakakata. Ndiyo na muambia. Eh, Wendi we mweka ukirangania. Yes I am. That is what that girl said. I will follow the Lord. Now what I lilala now. Hakuwa hata moja. Hapa kuna watu wamekudanganya wakalala na wewe. Na bahati nzuri ukapata mtoto. Angalau una mtoto unaweza lea. Getika kiuririo guo. Igiyo dikeu. Isije ikapotelea bure. Hakini vizuri kukwambia. Anybody who is lasting after you. May God help you to know. They are not. A, they, if they love you. They will honor you. They will pray for you. If you are a student, they will support you. If they have money, they will pay school fees for you. Until the day Bishop Kemani or one of the pastors declare you man and wife. Now, sidanganyu hata kama ameokoka na kwenda na migu. 
ni uria hono kete na kwa liana Ethiopia. Pepo ni pepo na dhambi ni dhambi. Ah. Wote ni wangu. That's what the Lord is saying, is it? He says, all of them are mine. My bishop, my pastor. Kwa za my bishop? Shindwe njini my bishop? Shindwe kabisa. Muna vaa kola na nikukula kondo. Anyway, uh, am I still alive? <laughs> that was not for them, it was for us. Oh my goodness. So, the life of Christ should be above. You know, hii ni ujumbe ambao sijui kama nitamaliza lakini ninaweza sema hivyo na niende tu ni sawa. See let me tell you this. David and this I had last Sunday. Unajua si ujumbe wangu. Unajua ni vizuri kusema ukweli. Hii si ujumbe wangu. Ni mtu alinihubiria last Sunday. Tulikuwa tumeenda mahali na joy. Tukahubiriwa. He preached many things. But me I picked this. I don't know what joy picked but I picked this. David was to be king. Sindio? Was to be king. David, if he stayed a little longer where he was, I will tell you the story, he would, been, he would have been killed by Saul. But he tells Jonathan, Baba yako anataka kuniwa. Nae Jonathan anamambia, apana, baba yangu, hawezi kukuwa, lakini, hebu niende, ni muongeleshe. Nikijua anataka kukuwa, nitarudi. Nikisema, nitatupa mshale. Nikisema mshale, uko nyuma yako urudi lakini ikisema mshale uko mbele yako utoroke na miguu yani kaguru daivia and some of you want to tell you mshale uko mbele yako so mguu nisaidie yani mguu ukusaidie if you want to get to heaven may this help you may you run away from those things that appears evil and sinful. Huyo ndugu, ndugu, ndugu. Huyo ndugu anakuita dada unamfulia nguo na haja kuoa. Unampikia chakula na haja kuoa. Unafika kwake asubuhi mapema na haja kuoa. Alafu unakaa mpaka 11 ili akusidikishe na haja kuoa. Siku moja utalala na ukilala utarudi kwenu. Mtasema sasa si tukae tu. Hiyo sio upendo upendo wa kweli saa tatu ikifika unamsidikisha dada wa kiroho na unamfikisha kwao unamwambia ubarikiwe na uishi milele <laughs> oh my goodness you know i have lost so many dear people myself as i have walked with the lord some of them sijui kwa nini kitu some of them tulipo okoka kulikuwa na kitu iliitwa kupa na kukufa. Na tukashika lilo neno. Kwamba kama umeokoka, umekufa ganzi. Tuliamini. Kabisa, kabisa tuliamini. Lakini wengine tukapigana nayo kwa sabu, we kunyo rake iguaruo. Then I'm not dead. But others believe they were. Si tulifanya maarusi. Mbio. 75, 76. 77 yani zile zinakwenda ga bio bio. Unajua za bio bio ni kwa sababu mtoto anakujaga miracle, anakuaga miracle child. So we have to run the brother very very quickly. Hata kurashia to rush you pesi very very quickly. Because walilala pamoja na usiku mwili uliokuwa umekufa ukafufuka. Sijui ni kwa nini ninasema hivyo, but there could be someone here that you need to know that ukichukua miguu yako utoroke wende mbio kabisa utajiokoa na utapata uzima wa milele bwana yesu asifiwe haya you've been saved you've been elevated you are not the same person you used to be you do not have the same desire you used to have you have been equipped to live on a much higher level than the world around you for that you should do what paul says in verse number 12 give thanks unto the father and walk that way Blessed be the name of the Lord. The story does not have to end in judgment and hell. You can be elevated. You can be lifted out. You can be delivered. You can be given a new life. 
You can have a new life in Christ. He will save you. He will change you. He will set you above the snake line. It, Jesus will pull you where he is in the name of the Lord. We have been elevated above the snake line. I don't want to continue. But I will continue next time if I'm reminded early. Because the second point is also very good. We have been enlightened about the snake line. We can tell. You can tell. You can tell. Verse number 9 and 10, if you go back, we talked about 12, 13, and 14, but if you go back to 9 and 10, it will tell you, those who have been saved by grace and placed above the snake line understand the difference between the new life they have been given in Jesus and the old life they lived in sin. The power and privilege of the new life in Jesus stand in a striking contrast to the old life of sin lived below the snake line. The character and quality of our new life in Jesus clearly exposes the emptiness and futility of the life lived in the lowlands of sin. So Paul in verse number 9 says, we are given a new life in Christ above the snake line. We are given that ability to know God, to know his will, and to know his truth. All that is taught in the language of verse number 9. He says, filled, it means to be completely full. Knowledge, it is to know fully. Will that God has decreed. Wisdom, God's truth known and understand that we can live it out. Spiritual understanding and intelligence outside ourselves. The ability to know and comprehend what God has done for us. All that has been enlightened to us. Shakahola, has it not shaken you? God has given us enlightenment. But somebody can tell you die to go to heaven. I don't have to die to heaven. Because the Bible says some will not have to. Why should you tell me I have to? I don't have to die. I'm waiting for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. But should he come or call me before? I'm ready to go. But why should you pull? And you know, unafosiwa. Hata juzi nimesikia kuna watu walikuwa kazi yao. Nikuangalia kama umekufa kabisa. Kama ujakufa kabisa anaongeza power. Ananyonga wewe. Unajua unanguvu. Na tutoto ni kugongeshwa tu kwa mawe. Kana guva tu pale. Can you imagine that? But you and I have been enlightened. We know the truth. Sasa nikisikia na wewe umeenda pale umepewa kitu ili utapikishwe. I mean I'll be wondering. Why, what are you doing? We have been enlightened. We know the truth. Let's walk in it. Wherever we shall be. Let's be the light of the world. Let not shakahola or whatever it is come back to us. Let's love the Lord. He is a faithful God. He will provide for us. I don't have to do anything. All out I need is to trust him and lean upon him. And he will still come through for me. Blessed be the name of the Lord. There is a line there. There is a line there. One pilot, and I'm finishing because preachers preach finish many times. One pilot. In the plane up there, Akiendesha ndege yake, akasikia kuna mtu ameingia na kuna kitu anatafuna. Na alikuwa peke yake. Akasikia kuna kakitu kana tafunwa. Mara, unajua, akua kule juu, kitu kikamwambia, sasa, hiyo mutafuno unasikia, haiko nyuma, iko hapa bere yako. Akagundua kuna panya. Na panya, hile biyashara anafanya pale, ni akurarua waya. Na akajua, itakurarua waya ingine, na hiyo ndege, itakuja ni kama mawe imetupwa chini. So, akaona, sasa ni sitaweza kurudi chini. Nitafanya, nini, akakumbuka kuna line fulani mahali. There is another line again. Uko juu. 
akajua we panya hujanijua akachukua ndege akaa ikaendesha juu ikafika mahali ambapo kupumua kwa panya kukawa kungumu akasikia panya amenyamaza akateremka alipo land akakuta panya alidai you know kuna panya hapo anakula hizo waya zako huyo you need to be above the snake line and let's take off so that as we come down we'll find kuna tupanya tulikuwa tunakula waya na uto tupanya tufe katika jina la Yesu father in the mighty name of Jesus this men and women are blessed not because i say so but because they know it in the law their lives is changed they are different they are peculiar they are wonderful people god you have redeemed redeemed them in the mighty name of Jesus lord god i know that some of these men we are going to heaven together these are men that are going to heaven with us and we will go to heaven all of us but if there is one dear father that needs to turn the the plane and start going higher and higher so that the rats of sin can start dying may it be so in the mighty name of Jesus